to go ahead and chat while I take care of these braids. Um, trying to braid my hair before I go to sleep. You know, I went into 2024 not really knowing what to expect, but just trusting God to take the wheel. Trusting Jesus to just do what he do best. You know what I'm saying? January is not even over, and I really feel like he's already begun to do that. I resigned from my former position um, because it was time. Uh, one, I was relocating. Two, the environment was not conducive to like my professional development and my own personal growth. And it was really just, it was weighing on me terribly. Like, literally a week after leaving, God has provided opportunities for me. And the thing is like, I was scared to go for it. I was scared to just take a leap into the deep end, but I felt this level of peace about like, quit your job. And I wasn't anxious about it. I wasn't scared. I wasn't like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? Ah. And I see why. I see, I see how like the peace of God has been leading and guiding me and pushing me in the right direction. Anyway, this video is gonna be super short, just like a brief like little check-in. I just wanna encourage you, like if you are in an unhappy or unfavorable situation and you have the means to do something about it and to get out, get out, do something else. The world is your oyster. My first year teaching, I remember the school, like the school was so tough, bro. Like kids putting hands on you, kids cussing you out, administration don't got your back, the kids don't respect admin, therefore the kids don't really have to respect you. And it was just complete anarchy. And I remember telling some of my coworkers that I was I was I was gonna leave. And they looked at me and said, leave where? You have to stay here. And even though they meant it in terms of like what I was supposed to do if I was gonna continue teaching, bro, the idea of being told you have to do this and you're stuck in this situation, it just rubbed me the wrong way. And it lit a fire under my butt for me to figure out what I was gonna do next, bro. And I did, and I figured out. I said that to say like, bro, there's always something else you can do. Find something. There's a solution somewhere. It may not be, you know, where you're ultimately going to end up. It may not be where you're ultimately going to land, but it will serve at the very least as a stepping stone to show you where you need to go. Yeah, man, you don't got to do it. You don't got to do with any crap. You can make a difference. You can, you can do something different. You can change something, especially in this day and age. You know, we have access to technology and information in, in, in unprecedented ways that few, that past generations did not have like you don't have to be stuck in exactly where you're at you can make you can make a change even if it's one step forward or it, even if it's not a step forward even if it's you moving to the right instead of remaining stationary or you moving to the left instead of remaining stationary or even you going back to something hey sometimes we have to go back in order to be propelled forward man Whatever it is, if the situation you're in sucks, you don't have to stay in it, dude. There's something you can do to change your situation. Anyways, I didn't know this was going to turn into a motivational speech. I really am just out here trying to braid my hair down so I can go to sleep. But hopefully what I said resonated with you. Take a step. Don't just be in the situation and talk about how you hate it or internalize how much you detest it and then do nothing. Take a step. Take a step somewhere, forward, backward, left, right. Take a step. In taking some kind of a step, you'll figure out down the line where you're supposed to go next. Whenever you're watching this, I hope you have a good night, have a good day, have a good afternoon, evening, whatever it is. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say, guys. Bye. Yes. 97, I step eating on the scene, yeah. Testing for great greatness, talent, long as limousine, yeah.